The 21st century continues to be an era of remarkable scientific discoveries across numerous disciplines. While these breakthroughs are reshaping our understanding of the world, many often go unnoticed by the general public, buried under other news or lacking the sensationalism to grab headlines. Today, we're diving into five fascinating scientific discoveries from recent years that you might have missed, each with the potential to revolutionize its field. Let's begin our journey with a geological mystery that has puzzled scientists for over seven decades. In the vast expanse of the Indian Ocean lies a gravitational anomaly so significant that it's visible from space. First detected in 1948 by Dutch geophysicist F.A. Wiening Minus, this peculiarity is known as the Indian Ocean geoed low. Imagine a massive dent in the ocean's surface, approximately 100 meters deep, stretching over a vast area. This isn't a physical depression you could sail into, but rather a gravitational low point where Earth's pull is slightly weaker than the surrounding areas. It's as if an enormous mass is missing from beneath the ocean floor. For years, this anomaly has been a source of scientific debate and speculation. However, in the summer of 2023, researchers at the Indian Institute of Science published a groundbreaking study that may finally explain this peculiar phenomenon. The team, led by Atrayi Ghosh, used advanced computer simulations to model the geological history of the region, going back an astonishing 140 million years. They ran 19 different simulations, each varying factors such as tectonic activity, crustal composition, and mantle behavior. Out of these 19 scenarios, six resulted in a gravitational anomaly matching what we observe today. The common thread among these successful simulations, the creation of large magma plumes beneath the region, triggered by a cataclysmic event, the collision of the Indian subcontinent with Asia. This collision, which began around 120 million years ago and is still ongoing, resulted in the formation of the Himalayas, but its effects weren't limited to the surface, as the oceanic plate was subducted, pushed down into the Earth's mantle, it dramatically altered the composition and density of the underlying magma. The researchers propose that this process created vast, low-density magma plumes that rose through the mantle. These plumes, being less dense than the surrounding material, result in the observed gravitational low. While this theory is promising, the researchers are quick to point out that more work is needed. Direct evidence of these plumes has yet to be found outside of computer simulations. Nevertheless, this study represents a significant step forward in unraveling one of Earth's most enduring geophysical mysteries. From the surface of our oceans, let's plunge deep into the Earth's interior, where another startling discovery awaits. For years, scientists have speculated about the presence of water deep within the Earth's mantle. Recent research not only confirms this hypothesis, but suggests that the amount of water hidden in the depths of our planet might dwarf our oceans. Two teams of geophysicists, one led by Stephen Jacobson from Northwestern University and the other by Brandon Schmant from the University of New Mexico, have used seismic waves from earthquakes to probe a layer of the Earth known as the transition zone. This region, located between 410 and 660 kilometers below the surface, marks the boundary between the upper and lower mantle. Their findings, published in the journal Science, provide the first direct evidence of oceans worth of water trapped within the mantle's minerals, but don't picture vast underground seas or reservoirs. At these depths, water exists in a unique form. The immense pressure in the transition zone about 40,000 times the pressure we experience at sea level, forces water molecules to bond with minerals in a way we don't see on the surface. Specifically, they found evidence of a water-rich mineral called ringwoodite. Jacobson describes ringwoodite as acting like a sponge soaking up water. Laboratory experiments have shown that ringwoodite can contain up to 2.6% water by weight. While this might not sound like much, when you consider the vast volume of the transition zone, 
the numbers become staggering. The researchers estimate that if just 1% of the rock in this transition zone contains water, there would be nearly three times more water than in all of Earth's oceans combined. This discovery has profound implications for our understanding of Earth's water cycle, plate tectonics, and even the origin of water on our planet. Shifting gears from the unseen depths of our planet to the prehistoric past, our next discovery takes us to the sun-baked valleys of southern Peru. Here, paleontologists have unearthed fossils that are rewriting the record books and challenging our understanding of marine mammal evolution. For decades, the blue whale has held the title of the largest animal ever to have lived on Earth, with specimens reaching lengths of up to 30 meters and weights of up to 200 tons. These gentle giants dwarf even the largest known dinosaurs. However, a new contender has emerged from the mists of time to challenge this record. Enter Pyrocetus colossus, a newly discovered species of ancient whale that lived approximately 39 million years ago. The fossils, excavated from marine sediments in the Ica Desert of southern Peru, paint a picture of an animal of truly colossal proportions. The research team, led by paleontologist Eli Amson from the State Museum of Natural History in Stuttgart, Germany, recovered 13 vertebrae, four ribs, and a hip bone. These fossils are remarkable not just for their size, but for their density. The bones of Perusatus colossus are pachyosteosclerotic, extremely dense and compact, even more so than modern whales. Using these fossils and comparisons with other whale species, the researchers estimate that Perusatus colossus could have weighed between 85 and 340 tons, with an average estimate of about 180 tons. Even at the lower end of this range, it would rival the largest blue whales. At the upper end, it would be by far the heaviest animal ever known to have existed. The discovery of Perusatus colossus is significant, not just because of its size, but because of when it lived. It pushes back the timeline for the evolution of gigantism in whales by roughly 30 million years. Previously, it was thought that whales only reached such enormous sizes in the last 10 million years or so. This finding challenges our understanding of whale evolution and the factors that drive the development of gigantism in marine animals. It suggests that the oceans of the Eocene epoch, 39 million years ago, were capable of supporting far larger animals than we previously thought possible. From the largest animals that ever lived, let's now turn our attention to some of the smallest and arguably the most resilient. In a discovery that sounds like science fiction but is very much real, scientists have successfully revived tiny worms that have been frozen in the Siberian permafrost for 46,000 years. These microscopic worms, known as nematodes, were found in permafrost deposits in northeastern Siberia. The research team, led by Anastasia Shatilovich from the Institute of Physico-Chemical and Biological Problems in Soil Science in Russia, carefully extracted the worms from the frozen soil and slowly thawed them in the lab. To everyone's astonishment, after careful rehydration, the worms began to move and eat. These tiny creatures had effectively been in a state of cryptobiosis, a kind of suspended animation, for tens of thousands of years, only to resume their life processes as if hardly any time had passed. To put this into perspective, when these nematodes first became frozen, woolly mammoths and Neanderthals still roamed the Earth. They had survived in a dormant state through multiple ice ages and the entire span of human civilization. This discovery is significant for several reasons. First, it demonstrates the incredible resilience of life and pushes the boundaries of what we thought possible for long-term survival in a dormant state. Previous studies had only found creatures capable of surviving in cryptobiosis for a few decades at most. Secondly, it raises intriguing possibilities for the potential of life in extreme environments, both on Earth and potentially on other planets. If life can survive for tens of thousands of years in frozen soil on Earth, could similar mechanisms allow for survival on the icy moons of Jupiter or Saturn? 
Lastly, this research could have implications for fields ranging from medicine to space exploration. Understanding the mechanisms that allow these worms to survive such extreme conditions could lead to advancements in cryopreservation techniques or new approaches to long-term space travel. Our final stop on this journey through recent scientific breakthroughs brings us to the cutting edge of energy research. For decades, nuclear fusion has been seen as the holy grail of clean energy, a potentially limitless source of power with minimal environmental impact. However, achieving fusion in a controlled, energy-positive manner has remained frustratingly out of reach until now. In December 2022, scientists at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in California achieved a historic milestone. For the first time in history, they produced more energy from a fusion reaction than was used to initiate it. The experiment took place at the National Ignition Facility, the world's largest and most energetic laser system. Here's how it worked. 192 high-powered lasers were focused onto a tiny fuel pellet made of deuterium and tritium, isotopes of hydrogen. This pellet, no larger than a peppercorn, was subjected to immense pressure and temperature, causing the hydrogen atoms to fuse into helium. The numbers tell the story. The laser delivered 2.05 megajoules of energy to the fuel target. The fusion reaction that resulted released 3.15 megajoules of energy. This net energy gain, while small, represents a crucial proof of concept that has eluded researchers for decades. Even more exciting, the experiment was repeated with even higher energy yield in July 2023, demonstrating that the December result wasn't a fluke. It's important to note that we're still a long way from fusion power plants supplying our homes with electricity. The experiment produced fusion for only a fraction of a second, and the energy calculations don't account for the total power used to charge and fire the lasers. Moreover, significant engineering challenges remain in scaling up this process and making it practical for energy production. Nevertheless, this breakthrough is monumental. It proves that fusion energy gain is possible, potentially paving the way for a future of clean, safe and nearly limitless energy. As Omar Hurricane, chief scientist for the fusion program at Livermore, put it, this is a Wright Brothers moment. These five discoveries, from the gravitational anomaly in the Indian Ocean to the breakthrough in fusion energy, showcase the breadth and depth of ongoing scientific research. They remind us that our understanding of the world is constantly evolving and that groundbreaking discoveries can emerge from any field at any time. As we look to the future, we can only imagine what new wonders await discovery. Will we unravel more mysteries of our planet's interior? Uncover new chapters in the story of life's evolution? Push the boundaries of what's possible in energy production? One thing is certain. As long as there are curious minds asking questions and seeking answers, the adventure of scientific discovery will continue. So keep your eyes open, stay curious, and remember that in the grand story of scientific exploration, the next chapter is always waiting to be written.